Estrus and model Margaret Luce is not only able to live her dream, but she's also able to bring attention to causes that matter to her in the process. Margaret is making her first appearance here on our program to talk to us about her journey and what's coming up next for her. Margaret, welcome to Conversations Live. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for taking out time to be with us. Oh, thank you. I enjoyed that last interview. I, I have to buy that book. I have two, uh, two children, a four-year-old and a six-year-old, so it sounds adorable. Well, look, yeah, I, I, I definitely tell you, Margaret, it, it is well worth it. it. It's a great story, and thank you so much for that. You have had a, a remarkable journey here, being able to, to do that you are passionate about, just like our last guest was able to do. I, I have to start off by asking you, what is it like? What is it like to wake up and knowing that you're going to be able to make a difference doing something that you love so much? You know, it really is. It's, it's a humbling experience. It's, it's very nice. It's a very satisfying experience, I have to say. Um, you know, as women, uh, it, it's very nice. I'm at a very comfortable point in my life where I feel very confident in who I am and and uh, sort of fearless at the moment, actually. So it's it's a very good feeling, and I and I like to I like to help when I can and wherever I can. It's part of paying right. it forward, I think. You know. Exactly, exactly. So so tell us, when did you realize it? Because I think one of the things that frustrates a lot of people, Margaret, and I think you'll agree with this, is that they don't really know why they're here. They don't know what their purpose mm -hmm. is. When did you realize what your purpose was and how you were going to go about fulfilling it? Yeah, I was raised, uh, my mother is, a, is an extraordinary woman, a very strong woman. Both of my parents were born in Ireland, and I was raised in Westport, Connecticut. So it was just very interesting growing up um, under those circumstances with, with uh, European parents. Um, I was brought up with a very strong faith and structure, you know, sort of a, at a very young age. I knew who I was, and, and I really wasn't going to compromise who I was. And, you know, through childhood, we all have funny little things that we go through and, and in college and this and that. But, you know, I, I, I've always had a sense of myself and um, a little bit of a fearlessness, I have to say, and that comes through my faith. My faith has always been there for me and, um, you know, um, kept, me, kept me in line a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, I I think that that is so important. I mean, you you know you know who who you are, and and that that has helped you along the way. So as you were looking at a career as an actress uh, mm -hmm. or someone um, that's active in the entertainment industry, what what was your your ultimate goal in that? I mean, and knowing what you know who you were and what you wanted to do, um, what what goals that you set for yourself inside the industry. I had a very successful modeling career, which sort of sidelined me from the acting a little bit here and there, but it was lovely to make um, wads of, of, of money <laughs> at a young age. Um, I find the roles that I'm being offered now uh, are, are uh, really well suited to me. I think I, having have had a conservative background, I was particular with things that I got involved with and, and took. And what's great now is that I'm not being offered those ingenue roles. Um, you know, we can keep our looks up and fit and, and all of that. But it's really nice to also be in that sort of category of a woman and, and not have to right. compromise. I'm, I'm very happy about that, and I'm very comfortable with that. Um, I'm a huge fan of Tennessee Williams. I love the stage, and I'd love to be on the stage one day again um, in a great place. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that moment. For for you, Margaret, as you look then at the platform you've been able to build for yourself, you have really added, I think, another slash to your name, and that is role model. There are individuals who, oh. who look up to you and admire you for the journey that you've taken, and especially for what you just said, which to me is so important, staying true to who you are, knowing who you are, and staying true to that. Has that been a surprising uh, but pleasing element for you to know that individuals are looking up to you and admire you for the stand that you've taken in your life? Well, that's really sweet of you to say. <laughs> that's a very nice, very nice thought. I, I think so. You know, we all we all make mistakes. I have to say I was very humbled by um, uh, Charlie Sheen last night on the Emmys. Uh, was it last night or Sunday night? I watched it. And I loved it because, again, we're all human and we all make mistakes. Right. But I think it's also forgiveness and moving on 
and and coming through that that makes us really strong. We're not perfect, and 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 uh, everybody should feel that they always have second and third and fourth and fifth chances. You know, to to get through life. Some of, some of us have it easier than others, and and for for some it struggles. But um, I'm I'm very happy to hear that, and I try to. I'm involved down here with a wonderful charity. It's a rehab, actually. It helps people get sober, um, people that are addicted to drugs. And sometimes I find just a kind word and building a girl's confidence, building a young man's confidence, and just making eye contact and conversing with them really helps them out because uh, that's what it really has to do with, too. And I have to say, when I was younger, I didn't necessarily have all the confidence in the world. But it's the confidence that really gets you through because when you know who you are, you're, 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 you're strong in that. It helps you get through life a lot easier. Yeah. I totally agree with you on that. Uh, for those that are just tuning in, either on the radio dial here in Mississippi or online through blogtalkradio.com, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're speaking with actress and model Margaret Luce. She's, she's talking to us a little bit about not only her journey, but also uh, where where her, her place and her confidence uh, comes true to herself and how that has been able to help her as she has gone throughout her life. Now, Margaret, as far as, as upcoming projects, what should we be looking for from you in the future? Well, I, I got an exciting call uh, tonight for a project that, that's potential in Miami. Um, there's quite a few shows being shot down here. I live in, in Jupiter, Florida at the moment, and I travel between here and New York. And I'm working on a film, producing a film, Bell, with um, the fabulous Edward Bass, who's, who's a great, uh, it's first time directing, actually. He wrote this script, and he's produced other films before, but he's, he's quite a talent. I'm excited working with him. Um, and, and some smaller projects here and quite a few charity uh, adventures that I'm, I'm gearing up for the season down here in Jupiter Palm Beach. It tends to be a busy one. Uh, but aside from producing and a few, a few little projects that um, I, I can't wait to share with you if something happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I, just, I went to the Valentino reunion the other day in New York, and it was so fantastic because, you know, I walked the runway with him about 20 years ago, and it was just divine to see him and the friends and, and uh, go back into time a little bit and, and um, just see that he's done so well with himself. And, you know, that was all about confidence his life and his career. Right. He just kept striving, you know, striving for it, and he reached it. It was great to see how, how far that line has come. Yeah, you know what, I, I think I saw, um, I saw a couple of the pictures from, from that. Um, I think it was sent to me. Uh, and, you know, and I think that's one of the amazing things about your journey, and I think the journey of anybody uh, who is, is, is staying true to themselves, as you said, but also um, keeping their, their eye on the prize, whatever that prize might be, because um, you never know where you were the turn of life uh, will, will take you. Uh, and then sometimes yeah. it's full circle, uh, like the moment that you were able uh, to, to experience. Margaret, I'm going to ask you a question that I actually asked our, our last guest um, mm -hmm. a little differently, of course, uh, because of the profession. But um, there are people who are, you know, are unfortunately willing to do anything to get into the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. willing to do anything um, to get that quote-unquote big break. I know you get the question from individuals who look at you and look at what you've been able to do. They want to know, you know, how do I do it? How do I, I make it? Um, what do you normally say to those individuals about, you know, reflecting on your own experiences? What do you normally tell them about their own experience, uh, what, what they should do on their journey? You know, I found being professional, sometimes it's not even about being the prettiest girl, the most talented. It's who shows up, who does the job, who who really is professional. And I think you can always help yourself by furthering your education. You know, being in the field and modeling as long as I have, it's, it's kind of funny because I'm up there sometimes with 19-year-old girls, and you just know some of the girls that are going to be there for a short period of time and then the ones that are in the business forever. But it's really about professionalism and, uh, and, and really keeping that part of your life very secure in, the, in that arena, and I think that I am a professional. When somebody books me, they know they're going to get the job done. Um, I arrive ready. You know, I, I can't bring enough to the shoot or, or, or the job, whatever it is, for a film as, a, if, as an actress. And, um, and that's really what it's about. You know, we're in times now where financially people are so strapped and, you know, people don't have hours to wait around for models or actresses that are late or pulling diva acts. You know, there's so much talent right. out there willing to work for next to nothing. So I, I find that there's a small percentage of that left, and I certainly see it. 
but I think we also are so blessed to be in this industry and 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 at times making making the money that we do and and the advantages that that comes with in life that you have to be humble you have to understand that uh, it's it's just you have to be very grateful for that because there's so many people out there suffering so I say always be professional arrive you know clean uh, simple and and don't make a spectacle of yourself you know sort of do your thing read study those are the more interesting people I think those are the people that really get the furthest to have. There was some model sitting backstage, you know, a long time ago, Dalmo used to knit instead of chain smoke, <laughs> you know. But And you see those people <laughs> stay in the business for 30 years. Right. You know, look at Cindy right. Crawford. I mean, Cindy is, you know, Al McPherson, those are all my peers, and, you know, they're still in the business because they show up and, they're, and they're, um, they've are and they got their act together. And that's really what it's about. And it's so tragic. It's so sad to see some of the talent that has, come in and come out the door and and they get so caught up in what they think Hollywood is or what they think right. the modeling world is and look they lose their looks and before you know it they're having surgery at 20 and it's very sad exactly I, I think you're right the professionalism is such an important thing and again that's one of the reasons why I think people look at you and can smile uh, because oh. you are one of those success stories uh, Margaret how can our listeners stay in contact uh, with you online keep up with what you're doing online um, online, I'm at margaretloose.net. Um, Julie uh, is is uh, working with me right now. She's in PR, and she's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, she's helping me with my website and getting au courant. You know, it's so <laughs> I am so in the dark ages as far as that's concerned, and I realize how powerful it is. It's mad. You know, I I love to to read scripts printed out, and you know that gets a little old when people are printing out hundreds of pages at a time. <laughs> so I'm I'm trying to to get adept, and uh, the websites are up, and um, YouTube has a lovely I have a lovely um, house tour on YouTube on YouTube, Margaret Luce, um behind the gates. Um, mm-hmm. So Julie Julie's working rapidly at at bringing me up to up to speed. 2011. <laughs> right. Well, I, I definitely want to publicly thank Julia. She's the one who connected me with you, and I, and I thank her uh, for, for doing so. And also thank you for taking out the time, oh, uh, Margaret. No, thank uh, you. Just, just, uh, again, that website was, was margaretloose.net. It's where you can find her. And then, as you mentioned, also on, on YouTube um, as well. So, Margaret, continued success to you, and we look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. Bye.